All right, all right. Uh, Shalom uh First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory uh, to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Recha Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruba. And I want to give uh, peace and greetings and salutations to all the Lagakim that's pushing his word of the truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, be, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, yo. And I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And our Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. You know, Adawan uh, Ratazah, you know, that means Lord willing, Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, is going to be basically uh, in transit going into, you know, how salvation is only for Israel. All right, and the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? Also, the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, all right? We are a true biblical Hebrew Israelites, and salvation is only for us, man. All right? You got these um, these reprobates and um, ex-GMS ex members, you know, reprobates from Boston, all right, coming up with a doctrine, basically just Christianity, going into how the word is for all nations, and the Lord is going to, uh, when he returns, what he's going to gather all right, heathens basically. Heathens have a chance for, chance of salvation when that's not according to the Bible, man. That was that was never the Lord never dealt with these other nations, as it says, um, what Psalms 147. I uh, he showed his words unto Jacob, his laws and his statutes, his statutes unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation, and that's where it just they have not known them. Praise you, the Lord, man. All right, the scripture said the Lord count these uh heathens. As nothing, they be like unto spittle, like a drop that falleth from a bucket. All right. So why would the Lord save these heathens? All right, when they of what been oppressing the children of Israel. All right. The curse is said, hey, what well, we well, we was gonna be scattered amongst all nations. All right. And the Lord said He's gonna gather the remnant. All right, from the four corners of the earth. All right. So this gospel is being taught. The Lord told the, the Lord told the disciples were to teach this gospel, you know, go go to all nations and teach it. Because why? Israel was scattered through all nations, man. Alright? These dudes just reprobates and they trying to um what they trying to deceive people, man. And those who are gonna be deceived is the ones who they can't understand it. All right, the most high he has a chosen people, all right, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Alright, that's it. And what he's gonna redeem what his elect that was scattered amongst the heathens, man. That's the gospel. That's the gospel. That's the good news. All right. That we what that we uh the Lord's gonna save us from our enemies. All right. What the Lord's gonna uh the wicked shall not uh uh pass over us no more. It was that uh Nahum 1 and 15? All right, the scripture that I quoted before was what Luke the first chapter, man. All right, the Lord has set up a horn of salvation in the house of uh uh, Jacob, roughly the house of uh, uh, David, all right, which our Lord Yahweh shot that horn of salvation, all right, that we being saved from our, from our enemies, all right, what? The Lord said what? One of the curses, what? We're going to be sold unto our enemies for bond men and bond women. No man shall buy thee, what? Meaning redeem us, all right? But who is the redeemer? Our Lord Yahweh shot, man. He's going to redeem the elect from all nations. It's not that hard. That's why you got to go precept upon precept. You have to be taught the true doctrine. All right, from our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, once you get the true doctrine, the true doctrine, you have to hold fast to what you have been taught. All right, because men start having itchy ears. All right, and they go on different little uh, websites and different uh, following different groups and listening to niggas and podcasts and stuff. And what they let that uh, what they had in their heart, they let it slip away. That's why uh, the ship says. Uh, take heed lest these things slip all right roughly paraphrasing all right all right and what the lord is the lord is, has a remnant that's going to return there the remnant that's going to understand and the true prophets that's going to teach this to teach the hundred percent truth man all right the trip said what twelve thousand out of each chart revelation seven chapter of the tribe of judah was still twelve thousand come on on down man then it goes to the great multitude what is that? That's is. Then you go to uh, I'm talking. Uh, what I'm quoting is Revelation the seventh chapter. All right, 
then it goes it goes and name the uh the the 12 tribes all right 12 000 out of each tribe and then i think i believe it's the 10th verse it goes into then the, uh the people out of um it's like it goes into the great multitude all right to prove who the great multitude you go to revelation the fifth chapter all right because the lord said he he has redeemed us out of all nations roughly paraphrasing out of all kindreds languages roughly paraphrasing it has made us kings and priests and we shall reign on earth who is the kings and priests in the book of exodus it says we shall be a kingdom of priests all right i believe it says in the book of peter's too first and second peter all right a, a holy priesthood so if you got understanding salvation is only for israel all right the the book the prophets the disciples they was only for they was only to israel and when they say to the gentiles all right when it's talking about salvation those was the israelite foreigners all right the ones who took up on the greek philosophies that was hellenized all right read about the greek empire all right how antiochus all right, well, starting with uh, Alexander, then Alexander died, and his four generals took over. And the scriptures talk about Antiochus, all right, and how he made a decree that hey, we can no longer what uh, circumcise our children, all right, keep the laws, keep the feast days, all right, and it was it was unlawful for us to call ourselves a Jew. So we wasn't calling ourselves by by our nationality, all right, the, the Hebrew Israelites, because it was a Judah Benjamin Levi during that time. And it was the kingdom of Judah, so they call themselves Jews, all right. And then you had a scatter of the northern kingdom, because what you read in, um, you know, the gospel, all right. It says, uh, I believe Anna. I believe well, she was from the house of Asher. I'm not sure is her name Anna, but she was from the tribe of Asher. That's the northern kingdom. So you had speckles of uh, of uh, northern kingdom there, but the majority of the ten tribes that came over here to America. Right, but it wasn't lawful for us to uh, what, to call ourselves. Um, it wasn't lawful for us to call ourselves Jews, man. So what we was taking on those Greek customs, all right. And what the Lord told, hey, the the, the uncircumcised, all right, the, the Gentiles, a hey, salvation is open unto you. What if you believe on our Lord Yahweh? Shall if you come back, all right? Because our people, I right, pursuant to the curses. Well, we're going to serve idols. We're going to discontinue from our heritage. Jeremiah, what, 17 and 4, I believe. We're going to discontinue from our heritage. All right, we're going to serve wood and stone. All right. All right, because what? We kindled the fire and the Lord's anger. But now, what? The remnant is returning, and the Lord is going to separate, all right, the sheep from the goat. The Lord's going to choose his elect from among the heathen. All right. And that's. That's that's what the scriptures say, man. You gotta go precept upon precept. You know, when I park, I'm gonna bring out a couple of precepts to prove what I'm saying. If any man speak, let him speak according to the oracles of the Most High. When we when we say certain things, we gotta have precepts, scriptures to back it up. All right, because that's how you teach the Bible: precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. All right, that's how you that's how you that's how you learn the Bible, man. All right. And you give the correct understanding of what the scripture is saying, man. All right. Book of Luke. This is the book of Luke 21. 
As Zvor said, we're going to be trodden down by the Gentiles. This is the book of Luke chapter 21 and verse 24. It says, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So what? We're going to be led captive up in, into all nations. All right. All right. All right. We're just going into what? 70 AD. After 70 AD, what? We fled into what? The interiors of Africa. All right. The, the southern kingdom. What, the northern kingdom was already over here in the Americas, man. All right. So the southern kingdom, right, we fled a Roman persecution. All right, and then from there, what was the transatlantic slave trade? All right, all right, and our people were scattered throughout throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right, and this gospel, you know, being taught via the internet is going out throughout the four corners of the earth. But who's ultimately returning? The remnant. All right, the elect of Israel. You don't see heathens returning. If they do look like the heathens, like the other nation, their their spirit is an Israelite, man. This is the book of Hosea, chapter eight, verse eight. It says Israel is swallowed up. Now shall she be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein is no pleasure. Those Gentiles, all right, that they, that we are amongst, they are the heathens, man. All right. But the Lord said he's going to gather us, man. This is the book of, uh, what is it, Ezekiel? Ezekiel 36. This is book of Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse. Ezekiel chapter 36 and verse 23. says, And I will sanctify my great name, which was profaned among the heathen, which ye have profaned in the midst of them. And the heathen shall know that I am the Lord, saith the Lord power, when I shall be sanctified in you before their eyes, man. So the Lord is going to be sanctified, all right, before these people's eyes, man. Verse 24, for I will take you from among the heathen, talking about Israel, and gather you out of all countries and will bring you into your own land. And who was the um, the land, the promised land given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? So he says he's going to gather us from all countries and will bring us into our land. Verse 25, and I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idols and now i will cleanse you what this is going into the what the new covenant the lord's going to put in his law and commandments in, in our inward parts man verse 26 a new heart also will i give you and a new spirit will i put within you and will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and will give you a heart of flesh and i will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statues and it's like ye shall keep my judgments and do them all right who is that talking to? Israel. The Lord, that's a part of the new covenant. The Lord's gonna put his law statute. The Lord's gonna put his law statute commandments in our inward parts, man. Alright. Verse 28. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. Who the Lord says is gonna be his people? Israel. Alright, let's get this. couple milk scriptures. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 14. Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 2 it says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord and the Lord have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. So we are peculiar people unto the Lord, man. Above all these nations, man. Alright, so I don't know where these niggas get this doctrine, weird ass doctrine from, man. They're going to destroy you. Destroy them, man. At least they repent. This book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6, it says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So we above these people, man. All right. This book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, in verse 15, 14. Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 14. It says, Behold, the heaven and the in the heaven of heaven is the Lord's thy power, the earth also, 
with all that is therein, verse 15, only the Lord have delight in thy fathers to love them, and he, cho he chose their seed after them, even above all people, as it is this day. So the Lord chose us above all people as it is this day, man. All right. January 8th, 2024. The hopeful year, Jacob Shuffle, man. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashmasha, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Where are the heathens in this? Where are the heathens in this, man? All right. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 11. Wherefore, remember that ye being in past time Gentiles in the flesh. So we was Gentiles in the flesh. Going up to the, the different customs. All right. All right. The idol worshiping. Wherefore, remember that ye being in past time Gentiles in the flesh who were called uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision made in the, circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Because why? The, those are the circumcision who grew up in Judea. All right. In Jerusalem, that was keeping the law of Sash Commandment. They called the, the Israelite foreigner uncircumcised. All right, the, there was an uncircumcision. Verse 12, because why they didn't keep the customs. Verse 12, it says, Well, keep the laws. It says that in that if that at that time you were without Hamashiach, being aliens, foreigners from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of the promise, having no hope. Without the most high in the world. What well, was aliens? Let's get this um lamentation. This book of lamentations. Alright. Alright, this is the book of um Lamentations chapter 5 verse 1 it says remember O Lord what has come upon us consider and behold our reproach our inheritance is turned to this to strangers our houses to aliens to different foreigners man all right these other nations took upon all right what they they uh, took our land that's why we became or well, verse 3 it says we are orphans and fatherless our mothers are as widows what we became what orphans fatherless so who adopted us back our lord yahweh shot all right the strangers what they took over israel now they dwell in there that's what the ship said to the time of the gentiles be fulfilled all right verse um ephesians 2 and 13 but now in hamashiach yahweh shot who who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of the hamashiach so we coming back to the most high by the blood of our lord yahweh shot the redemption verse 4 14 for he is our peace who have made both one and have broken them broken down the middle wall of perdition between us having the bombings in his flesh to enmity even the law of commandments contained in the ordinance for to make himself of twine one new new man and making peace so the lord is making peace all right between the most high israel verse 16 that he might reconcile both unto the most high in one body by the cross having slain the enmity thereby and came and preached peace to you which were afar off and to them that are not talking about what the Israelite foreigners and the ones who know they are Israelites for through him we both have access by one spirit unto the father now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of the most high alright so we're no more strangers the Lord is coming back for the elect of Israel. Salvation is for Israel. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45. In verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. So the salvation is for Israel, man. All right? Only Israel, you know? So Lord, one in this lesson was edifying, you know, just a quick lesson. Going into how salvation is only for Israel, man. Lord went in his lesson and his word is unto, you know, unto Jacob, man. So Lord went in his lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Shalom, Mikeim. Keep pushing, keep doing. Shalom.